Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. You can create payroll fields to hold paycheck data. Payroll fields can hold either flat rate amounts or calculated amounts. A flat rate payroll field would collect the same amount from every paycheck. A calculated payroll field would use a formula to calculate the amount to be collected from a paycheck. Payroll fields can affect all employee paychecks or only selected employee paychecks. However, in order to use a payroll field in any paycheck, you will need to create it within the employee defaults window first. If the field will only be used by a few employees, you will then have to update the specific employee payroll fields for those selected employees by using the Maintain Employees and Sales Reps window to indicate the proper payroll field settings for those selected employees. Now a calculated payroll field is one that uses a formula to derive its value. These formulas may also refer to the tax tables stored within Peachtree to derive their necessary values. There are two sets of payroll tax tables used in Peachtree. If you subscribe to the Peachtree Tax Update Service, the payroll fields and formulas needed for federal and state payroll taxes will be available within one set of tables. If you select File from the menu bar, roll down to Payroll Formulas, and then choose Peachtree Maintained, you can access these tax payroll fields. These fields are updated by Peachtree and are shared by all company files that you create within Peachtree. You cannot access this table without a current subscription to the Peachtree Tax Update service. If you select File from the menu bar, once again roll down to Payroll Formulas, and this time choose the User Maintained command, you will view the company tax formulas that are available. This is the second payroll tax table that's available for use. Company taxes are taxes that are specific to your company, like state unemployment insurance or union dues. You can use and update the company tax tables yourself by creating custom formulas for use within custom calculated payroll fields that you have set up within the employee defaults window. Now for users who do not subscribe to the Peachtree Tax Update service, all of your payroll formulas will need to be created within this tax table. You can use the company tax table window to set up payroll field formulas. The purpose of the payroll field formula that you create could include, but is certainly not limited to, purposes such as calculating garnishments, collecting union dues, or collecting local income taxes. Now in this window you can see calculated company taxes, additions, or accruals that were created during the payroll setup wizard, like 401k and vacation and sick time tracking. You can add new payroll field formulas to this list. Now to create a new formula, you would first enter a tax, deduction, or accrual ID into the tax ID field or the formula ID field. Notice that the formula ID can be up to 8 characters in length. Next, you must enter a name for the formula into the name field, and you do this by entering the name of the formula, followed by a required space, and then the two-digit payroll year, for example, 08 or 09. You can click the adjacent guidelines for creating a name hyperlink to view the help file on this topic if needed. Peachtree uses the formula name to associate a payroll formula with a payroll field when you later create the payroll field within either the employee fields or company field tabs in the employee defaults window. The name defines what will appear in the formula column within the employee fields tab or the company fields tab. Next, you would select the impact that this formula is to have on the gross pay by selecting a choice from the Effect on Gross Pay drop-down. You can then select a filing status that this should affect from the Filing Status drop-down. Now, if the formula is to be used for all employees regardless of filing status, just choose the All choice. Next, you can use the How do you classify this formula drop-down to select the type of formula that you're creating could be a tax, deduction, benefit, or reimbursement. Now if you select Tax, then you can use the Tax Agency drop-down that appears to further specify your taxing agency. 
For state and local taxes, you will then have to further refine the selection using the drop-downs that appear for those specific choices. You can check the Use This Formula as a Filter on the Payroll Tax Report checkbox to allow this formula to appear within the Payroll Tax Report menu, or to have the payroll field that uses this formula appear on the Exception Report. Note that you should only choose this option when the Taxable Gross Identifier appears on the formula in the left side of the equation. And that is because the payroll tax report lists taxable gross figures based on the formula entered for each tax. So the term taxable gross must appear within the actual formula. Next, you would enter the actual payroll formula itself into the large formula text box. Finally, you would click the Save button to save the payroll formula once it has been created. Now, once you've created the formula, you can actually click the Next Step hyperlink to open the Employee Defaults window, where you can then create the calculated payroll field that uses the payroll field formula that you just created. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free.